What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen, the visitor that you feel me? TV commercial lies, man. They be lying? Uh, I'm pretty sure they, they do a little bit of embellishing <laughs> on certain products or certain things. That, oh, it works like this, and then you get it. False and advertising. That, sh that shit don't work nowhere near. Where It works one time, and it's broke again. So mm. we're going to check this out, man. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some that we probably even recognize or whatnot. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> and let's get right into this one, man. Let's go. Run up them likes, man. Subscribe. <laughs> Nokia. Pure view. The next in the innovation. Sketcher oh. shape ups told consumers because the they didn't have that camera. That was a they were recording it That's, with a different camera, yeah, of course, a more high end camera. Because damn, Brooke Burke's ads for Sketcher shape ups told consumers oh, I remember this. fitness. Uh -huh. It's tying your shoelaces. While Kim Kardashian advertised she was dumping her personal trainer for a pair of the much hyped leg and butt toning sneakers. Mm -hmm. I trainer. remember that. Wow. Hello, shape up. But the Federal Trade Commission is now saying the notion of putting on these shoes in lieu of working out isn't quite working out like Skechers advertised. <laughs> then there was the shoemaker's claim about an independent clinical study by a chiropractor. The FTC says not only did the claims prove untrue, but the so-called independent doctor is actually married to a Skechers marketing executive. Wow. As a result of what the FTC calls deceptive advertising, Skechers now has to foot a $40 million bill. Look at it like this. In 2010 alone, people spent a yeah. billion dollars on toning shoes, and Skechers was the market leader. So even after paying out this $40 million settlement, it seems the company itself will be as advertised in great shape. Yeah, now nah, they're going to be fine. The FTC in settled similar shape. charges with Reebok yeah. last year for $25 million. This yeah, they're going to be fine. Juice. I'm trying this to figure out who gets that money. Not the consumer. An ancient tradition. Celebrating Mother Nature's ways, Not the no added juice. sugar, no preservatives. I came across this. Uh -oh. Looking at the label, I thought this looked great, right? No sugars added. However, right. you need to look at the, the nutrition label. Uh -huh. This 15 fluid ounce bottle of naked juice. That's a lot of sugar, man. 53 grams <sighs> of sugar. Mm -hmm. Most cans of soda carry about 40 grams of sugar. Damn! So a can of soda will typically have I'm less sugar than this bottle of fruit juice. The beverage maker Naked Juice has just agreed to settle a class action lawsuit. The <laughs> California case million. claimed its juice was not 100% natural, a... as the label oh, said. Yeah. So them, it will no longer make yeah. those natural claims, and the company will refund $9 million to, to who? consumers who bought it. Oh, to so consumers if you bought, bought Naked right. Juice I bought it. between 2007 and August 2013 this year, you can receive up to $75 you gotta have a receipt. in refunds. Or $45 without a receipt. Receipts. Most of us, of course, don't. Have them if you don't have a receipt, you can Bro, I definitely bought some around that time. Dollars. You got a TDI here? <laughs> You're good to go, sir. <laughs> Green police. <laughs> Green police. Good morning. The Department of Justice took rare action yesterday, indicting six Volkswagen executives and levying oh. the largest fine against an automaker in U.S. history. This comes after Volkswagen, Europe's largest car maker, admitted to installing software on nearly 600,000 vehicles in the U.S., lowering emissions results during EPA oh, testing. Wow. Volkswagen agreed to pay yeah. a total of $4.3 billion <laughs> in fines, 2.8 billion in criminal penalties, along with another $1.5 billion nah, that in no civil penis. and environmental. <laughs> That, that'll and hurt. He will also plead guilty to three felony counts. Now, those six indicted Volkswagen executives. Conspiracy they have charges to defraud the U.S. Conspiracy to defraud the U.S. Ooh. To wire fraud and violations of the Clean Air Act. Oh, Some things men don't nah, want nah, to that's gonna hurt. Like prostate problems. But I learned one in three men will have them. Misleading so I switched vitamin to one-day men. Not the one of days. Vitamin plus lycopene, which Harvard studies suggest may help prostate health. Pharmaceutical giant Bayer has uh -oh. agreed to pay up for misleading claims about its men's multivitamins. The $3.3 million settlement was reached between California, Illinois, and Oregon. 
Attorneys general in those states sued Bayer over marketing claims that its one-a-day men's multivitamins reduce the chances of developing prostate cancer. As part of the settlement, each state will receive around $1 million. In addition, <laughs> Bayer has agreed that any future claims of health benefits will be backed by sound science. Now, Bayer had promoted the multivitamins in a strikeout prostate what about the cancer that took campaign. Them? On the labels, it no, mentions that, that emerging science that suggested that selenium helped prevent prostate oh, cancer, okay. a claim that some experts dispute. That's why one so people probably taking it thinking that. Oh, okay. Selenium, which See, emerging research for prostate suggests health? can help prostate mm. health. From the court of public oh, opinion, no. our <laughs> foot long sandwich is short. To the courtroom, a new proposed oh, class matters. action lawsuit is now accusing Subway of deceptive advertising. Uh -oh. Any regular foot long. <laughs> the worldwide viral controversy started with a quirky Facebook photo posted in Australia. Ah, 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 yes. Subway foot long coming up short. That was a minute. It was a little yeah. short. This morning, two New Jersey men are now aiming to take the world's biggest fast food chain to court. Wow. Saying short sandwiches are leaving them shortchanged. The suit filed Damn. under the New Jersey Consumer Fraud Damn. Act alleges it's a deceptive practice for Subway to advertise its large sandwich as a foot long. Wow. Oh, the Tate customers got fucked. <laughs> the the rest went to the no. They spent over half a mil, bro. Let me show you how these mugs be getting scammed. So they spent over a half a million to settle out of the case. Ten of the customers got five hundred dollars each. Mm -hmm. The rest went to the attorneys. Yeah, who really won? <laughs> Come on, man. Naturally, you want the best for your baby. Oh, this is an old, your own old doctor commercial. can tell you there is no better, safer choice than pet evaporated milk. In the 1970s, the company expanded its baby formula market and began advertising its formula as better than breast milk, aiming to manipulate wow. customers by spreading the story that its formula is good for babies and provides all of the nutrients that breast milk lacks. Mm. Medical experts were even bribed to testify on their side. Wow. The most mm. terrible thing Nestle did was hire <laughs> saleswomen in developing countries of Africa and Asia and assign them to give medical advice to moms and hand them free baby formula samples. Whoa. Because the women were dressed as nurses, undereducated mothers in undeveloped nations believed yeah. them. The free samples were carefully weighed and packaged to last just until the moms became totally dependent on the formula uh. and stopped lactating. The company's Damn. horrible PR stunt led to the death of thousands of infants because the mothers oh, were swapping no. Nestle's infant formula for breast milk. Yep. This left the babies deficient in the essential nutrients that breast milk provides. If you bought a pair of Vibram That's Five Fingers stuff, running bro. shoes, you could be in for a refund. I see. Shoemaker mm -hmm. has agreed to pay out $3.75 million to customers who bought the shoes after 2009. Critics say the company advertised that the shoes benefited health and prevented injuries. The company has agreed to stop Wait, those claims. What? These kids are ready to party in the Definitely spacious like pool they see any, uh, in, on the uh, box injuries. cover. But instead, they're getting a lesson about a shady sales tactic. Oh, the no. photo fake out. Hey, it probably didn't look like that. Yeah. Oh. I would have been mad. Oh. The pool's distributor, Manly Toys, has to pay eight and a half million dollars after Bro. using a deceptive packaging lawsuit. Look at that. It don't even look like it. And it's all photos. big. What cigarette do you smoke? You'll doctors supporting to tobacco. The doctors of America mm -hmm. answered that question. Probably back then. Tens of thousands of doctors, doctors in all parts of the country, in every state of the union, doctors in every branch of medicine were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? In this nationwide survey of general practitioners, surgeons, <laughs> throat specialists, diagnosticians, and so on, the brand named most was Not the Camel. Camel, yes, yeah. According to this survey, more Camel been around for a, a long time, bro. Proof of no adverse effects. To the nose, throat. They were lying, bro. <laughs> and sinuses. They were lying their asses off. Now, bro. this proof comes from the latest report just received, covering a full 16 months. And it comes from a doctor who's been examining a group of Chesterfield smokers. Is everybody Part smoked back then? Right. Supervised by <clears throat> a responsible, it was like a way of a rite of passage. Mm -hmm. Smoking now, and after drunk. a full year and four months, <laughs> The doctor reports again. That's literally what it was. No adverse effects to the nose, throat, or sinuses from smoking Chesterfields. 
Now, don't you want to try a cigarette with a record like this? The most popular brand of filtered wow. cigarettes had filters made with asbestos. And not just asbestos, asbestos, they were made with chrysotilite, also known as blue asbestos, which is the most dangerous kind of asbestos to breathe. Like it even says on the back, scientifically, the most effective filter ever developed to free cigarette smoke of impurities. Wow. Removes nicotine and tar particles as small as two tenths of a micron, leaves in the rich, mild flavor of fine tobacco. No other cigarette approaches wow. such a degree of health protection and taste satisfaction. When the truth came out about asbestos, the industry had a reckoning about all the information it had covered up showing the product was dangerous. I Laura could let survivors sued suit. a number of times because of how dangerous their products were, and there have been a number of multi-million dollar verdicts against that company. In fact, just as recently as 2015, two different juries awarded seven-figure awards to the people Damn. and families who had been killed by smoking asbestos filter can't Jeez, wow. that's, that's crazy bro like that's that's what it was back in everybody smoked that everybody was just smoke, that bro. was a thing it wasn't wasn't frowned upon that was just what it was saying yeah, you man. know people were lied to for many years until people started doing some really looking into it mm -hmm. and be like yo <clears throat> this is not healthy for you right, it's not good for <laughs> the side effects may not hit you now but, but when you get you. older it's gonna be it's gonna be awful yeah so no, for sure hey man it's it's crazy that's that's the world that's the world we live in when it comes to marketing and, and people trying to sell you things they're gonna they're gonna embellish whatever they can to make sure you buy the product even though it may not even be safe or what they advertise and and just think about it man they didn't know back then mm -mm. this is something that they it was new and they just start coming up with all these gearing up all these facts out of nowhere mm -hmm. without even knowing the the long term uh you know harm that it was gonna cause mm -hmm. Don't that don't that remind you of nowadays? Yeah, all they, the stuff they, that a lot of people are doing right now. Best believe that they, they still putting doing up it. all these facts. <laughs> they, I mean, just think about it. it. That's this is now what that was then. Mm -hmm. Like what we're going through now, a lot of stuff in the future. You're gonna look back and be like, oh man, this actually caused this, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So just be very careful out there. Mindful sure. of that. But hey, y'all enjoyed this video, man. You already know what to do. Make sure you run up them likes, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out, man. Mm -hmm. Keep on supporting the channel. Keep spreading love. Be in love. We catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. All right. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.